Oh, really? And just how do you see it? We both needed somebody. We were lucky we had each other. Right place, right time. Nothing planned, huh? That's it. It just happened. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's really funny, Chris, because the way I remember it is you just happened to come by my apartment on my birthday with a cute little cupcake with a cute little candle in it. That's because I thought you were hurting. I wanted to make you feel better. Oh, yeah, you wanted to make me all right. I didn't want to start anything, Chris, and you wouldn't take no for an answer. We both wanted each other. The urge was hard for both of us to resist. You got me talking about things, about Abigail, about my father, about being afraid of the dark, for crying out loud. Stuff I don't tell anybody. That's because we're comfortable with each other. Yeah, so comfortable we ended up in the sack. Yeah, and you didn't want to be there? You seduced me. Is that the way it happened with Abigail, Chris? You got her all vulnerable, and then you moved in for the kill. I didn't plan anything with you, and I sure as hell didn't plan anything with Abigail. Right, right. Is it just a coincidence that there's a million damn women in the world, and you end up with my daughter? I don't know how it happened. It just happened. Oh, oh this is becoming so clear to me. You used every excuse in the book to come up to my apartment to beg me to get between the sheets with you. And then, all of a sudden, one day, you tell me it's over. Things changed. Yeah, I'll say. They changed. Because you met Abigail. Admit it, Chris! Okay. Yeah, I, I met Abigail. And then, all of a sudden, you tell me... Oh, yeah, I'd be glad to, to meet Abigail and take her around town and show her around for you. You're going to do it for me <laughs> so that you can keep Abigail from finding out about us. That's what you said, isn't it, Chris? Yeah. And then tonight at the fashion show, I ask you why Abigail would throw a flower into your lap. And you looked me straight in the eye and you lied. I did it because I was trying to protect Abigail. You don't understand. I really care about her. I mean, she is amazing and beautiful and pretty, and she makes me laugh whenever I'm around. Shut up! I don't want to hear you mention another word about my daughter ever again, all right? Is that, do you understand me? Are you forbidding me to see your daughter? Bingo. Bingo, that is the plan, buddy. You nailed it. You stay as far away from her as possible from now on. Or what? where I tell her everything. And I mean everything.